Hello. Um, <clears throat> uh, full disclosure, the wild turkey hasn't got to bed yet, and it's ten after seven. Oh my god. Well, anyway, my relatives are leaving today back for Las Vegas, but they're leaving actually from D.C. to uh, or Reagan National DCA to um, Florida, uh, Tampa. They might be here another week. Good thing for me. Um, that would be nice. So, this storm, wow. I did some research on the 1991 perfect storm and uh, the reason why it was so bad at category one Category one, the reason why I researched what, why they would compare this as the storm of the century, worse than the perfect storm, which was really good in, uh, I saw it in D.C. in this theater. The screen was right up in your face. It was cool. And I was sitting in the balcony, so it really seemed like I was on the boat. Um... Now every time I see it on TV, it just isn't quite as good. But, uh, I mean, I was seasick. It was like that. I had the theater up there in D.C. It's this theater. None like it. It's just, it's, it's old too. It's old, like a hundred years old. Not a hundred, but like the 1920s. It's nice, but uh, anyway, um, the perfect storm, like I said, I. I the wild turkey has not gone to bed yet, if you know what I mean. Um, the reason why it was so bad was because of a low pressure system from the information I found. Now, they're calling for a high pressure system just above the New Jersey area, which makes me think, yes, there, this is going to be a low pressure area. But you know what, I, I have to tell you, I'm suspicious. I don't believe a thing anybody says, especially the media. I don't believe anything. So I'm a suspicious person. Um, myself, it's hard for me to believe a one is going to do all this damage. But, you know, from the information I found, it seems like it's a possibility. And I have to take that into account And in what I'm coming to you guys with tonight. Uh, today. <laughs> haven't gone to bed yet. Sorry. Um, so, got off track. ADD. Hmm, hold on. Yeah. The uh, polar jet stream, which is up at the north, comes around Canada. Uh, it was uh, heading from Canada through around the Midwest, up and out Virginia, which would have pushed, it's uh, the polar jet stream, it's about 100 miles wide. Uh, it would have pushed the hurricane out a little bit and probably would have made it less, less, you know, worrisome. So uh, anyway, then today or Late last night, though, the uh, jet, the polar jet stream changed again. Now it's going um, from Canada through the Midwest and out through uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, leaving the East Coast subject to a severe storm. Now, what I want to say is, and I have to tell you, I wish I could take my own advice. I'm only human, you know. I keep putting it off. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. But what I want, and I think is a good thing to buy, is a ham radio. Um, Virginia, Maryland, D.C., New York, at least. Maybe more, I don't know. But at least these states have been declared state of emergencies. The whole states. So if you had a ham radio but no license, you could still use it because it's a state of emergency. And so, um, 
You would need a tower and a ham radio. Uh, you can buy them cheap or you could go very expensive. But I mean for emergencies, these aren't the same as CBs because ham radio uses short waves. And short waves reach longer and farther and practically around the whole earth. You can talk to everybody around the earth. So if we lose our internet, this is, this is, you know, a good thing for us. I just want to get that out. I can't stand thinking that I might be for, without electricity from Sunday, which would be the 29th of October, to the elections. Huh? I mean, what? My electricity that long? Not knowing what's going on in the world? If I had a ham radio and could keep in touch with you guys, because oh, I trust everybody around the world, but I don't trust the MSM, I don't trust their gov, and I don't trust the propaganda that's pumped at us. I'm, I'm a suspicious nature kind of person. I think I'm my own, you know? So, because like my relatives, you know, everything's great in the world. They have no idea. None. They're about 80 years old. I'm not going to tell them. I only wish I could live where they live. It's a nice world. Everything's good. <laughs> we know better. And when this stuff hits the fan, we're going to, you know, be the strong ones. Not everybody sees everything, you know. We're all, we're all uh, human. We, we don't, you know, we're at, say different things. I know when every, every time I think I'm finally awake, I think I'm awake and through all the programming that's ever been handed down through thousands of years, uh, I think the programming, I think I'm awake, and then beep, 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 the alarm's going off, my alarm clock. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I've been sleeping. I was dreaming. I wasn't awake. Every day I found out. I find out something new. So anyway, check it out. Check this guy. This is the bad guy. And I still love him. He's a good guy. Even though he's a bad guy. You've seen the movie Scarface. This guy is bad. Did you, I mean, can you look at this face? <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Anyway, I don't know if that's so perfect, but um, please, everybody, whatever you see, you know, as long as you have electricity, let's let each other know what's going on. Talk to you later. Everybody stay safe, especially on the East Coast and everywhere across the world. Um, thank you for watching. I uh, love you guys. Bye-bye.